Well, here's my old Tormac, 12 years of good use. I'm gonna keep her, she's got many more years in her, but I'm got her a little buddy. And here's the new Wen reversible direction uh, sharpening stone. You know, when I unpacked this, I was surprised at how solid it is. I thought that it, you know, with the way the Tormax made, the metal's thicker, but this unit, this unit is fully boxed in. This is what it comes with. Your leather strop wheel, a polishing compound, uh, a grindstone wheel. This here is a clamp for putting a planer blade or a chisel in. And the reason I picked the Wen is because it had this forward and reverse. That is gonna be a great feature for me because it lets me decide which side my wheel is on. And that's a big help. Now, this unit uses a worm drive under this hatch. I'm going to open it up. We'll take a look at it. Remember, the Tormac uses the arbor to spin on this wheel. Fairly smooth. Uh, be nice if they're both metal. Maybe it's better if one's nylon. Uh, but for the price, uh, I don't think you can beat it. I'm not putting a lot of heavy pressure on this like I did my Tormac. When I sharpen on that one, I really lean hard on the wheel. This one for me is gonna end up getting my Japanese stone and it just, it doesn't uh, put the load on the unit. Now, if you're gonna buy this tool, you have to buy one of this. This is a stone grater. It's for flattening and truing your stones. You can't have one of these tools without one of these. Okay, so the first thing I need to do is figure out which direction's which direction. I want this wheel to go that way. So that's up, backwards. We need to put oil on this wheel before you put the compound on. So it's a pretty slow rotation. I'm just gonna dribble the oil on my finger. So I've kind of figured out the angle. Just starting to get some burr. Boy, it feels gritty. Okay, so I've got the burr. Now what I'm gonna do, just to see what difference it makes, I'm gonna use the coarse side from the Tormac on it. Man, I could really feel how rough that was when it started. It's getting a little smoother now. Now keep in mind, this grading tool doesn't come with this machine. You're gonna have to buy this yourself. And I'm presuming this stone will respond to the, its use. Yeah, this feels much smoother. Okay, that was a big improvement. I'm going to do, go to the smooth side. I'm going to see if we can get this as smooth as the Tormac wheel. Yes, it's responding to it. It feels pretty good. That's, that's real smooth now. Okay, I'm going to take another pass on this. You can feel how much smoother it is. It feels more like the blade is skating on the surface. I'm guessing the angle a little bit. Felt like I was a little low. Now this is a problem with these strop wheels. Tormax the same thing. I'm doing this knife. How are you supposed to do this? 
at an angle, I guess. This takes a while on these wheels. They don't move that fast. My fingers or knuckles are running into that. Let me go back here a little further. Okay. I don't feel burr. The edge feels a little rounded off. Might have been pushing a little too much. Like I said, I don't use a wheel like this. I'm used to my own wheels. Well, that does a pretty good job, I'd say. This section down here is a little better for a straight push, but the slightest bit of angle in, in this part's doing just fine. Uh, you probably want to rework that, but if you're in a hurry, you're just trying to freshen up your knives, um, this would be very acceptable. Very acceptable. Let's talk about this thing. My Tormac, with the equipment it came with here, and the grading stone, which was included, I bought it 12 years ago, and it was about 600 and some dollars. This tool, minus the grading tool, which is a, a hundred and some bucks, um, was 140 bucks. Now to give you an idea, when you replace the Tormac stone, it's 190 bucks if you shop around. Um, for 144 bucks, and that was delivered to my door, this is a great tool. So now, when you see this tool again, I'm gonna have this wheel off, this wheel's gotta go. If I was doing chisels, it'd be fine. Uh, and you're gonna see me have it set up with my Japanese stone and how I'm using it with my tools. I'll show you how I sharpen. So see you next time. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe so you get notified. And thanks for watching.